In this video, I'm going to cover the properties of the rhombus as stated below. The first property of a rhombus is that it has four equal sides. Four centimeters, four centimeters. As you can see, it's all equal in distance. The second property of a rhombus is that they have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. So the first pair is line AB that is parallel to line DC. The second pair is line AD that's parallel to line BC. The third property of a rhombus is that opposite angles are equal. So now we are going to prove that angle A is equal to angle C. I'm going to cut this portion out and I'm going to flip it and see if it overlaps. Okay, you should see that it's overlapping. So yes, that is true. I shall place it there. The next one, we're going to prove that angle B is equal to angle D. So again, I'm going to cut it out. Same, after cutting it out, I will flip and prove that it overlaps. As you can see, it overlaps. So yes, these two, they are of equal angle. So true and true. So we have done the first one. Next, the fourth property of a rhombus. The sum of angles between each pair of parallel sides is 180 degrees. So where are the parallel sides? This is one pair of parallel sides. So we can say that angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Let's prove the first part. So I'm going to cut out angle D and I'll shift it all the way up and you can see it forms a straight line. So yes, that is true. Now we can also say that angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to cut out angle B and shift it downwards and you will see it forming another straight line. So yes, that is correct. Another pair of parallel lines we can find is line AD and line BC. So using that, we can also say that angle A plus angle B is also equal to 180 degrees. So let's see if it forms a straight line. We're going to cut out angle A and shift it up. And you will see it forms a straight line. We can also say that angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to cut out angle D and shift it up. You will see it forming another straight line. Another property about rhombus is that when cut diagonally into halves, it forms two identical isosceles triangle. So right now I'm going to cut it into half in this manner. Can you see the two isosceles triangle? They are triangle A, B, C and another isosceles triangle A, D, C. This means that angle B, A, D is equal to this angle. So let's try to see. I'm going to cut out this portion 
and same thing I'm gonna flip it and see if it overlaps As you can see it overlaps it is an isosceles triangle because of these two equal sides same goes to the triangle at the bottom we have these two equal sides which means that these two angles are equivalent means that if this angle is 30 degrees the bottom angle would also be 30 degrees and the angle opposite because it's an isosceles triangle it will also be 30 degrees and same goes to the bottom it is also 30 degrees I can also cut my rhombus in this manner that's vertically downwards it will also form two isosceles triangle because I have four equal sides so which are the two isosceles triangle we have triangle B C D that is identical to triangle B A D so where are the angles that are isosceles so which means that the angles that are inside here So which mean that this angle is the same as the one at the bottom. So let's see. I'm going to cut out the one at the top. And flip it. To see if it overlaps. As you can see, it overlaps. Since the two angles are the same, I can also say that these two angles are equivalent to each other as well which means that if angle ADC is 60 degrees the angles that's opposite would also be 60 degrees and since the two triangles are identical the other two angles would also be 60 degrees as well